In this video, I'm going to continue creating my sales order in Crystal Reports um, off of an AdventureWorks database. Uh, so you see I've put sales order here in the corner, <coughs> excuse me, and I'm going to insert the sales order number. Sales order header, sales order number. Just simply drag and drop. I'm going to write justify maybe increase the size a little bit. And so there you go. The next thing I'm gonna do is put in my bill to and my ship to. So first I'm gonna go ahead and this person table is attached to my customer. Uh, I'm going to insert a text object, drag my first name into that text object, put a space, and my last name. We're going to keep, it, keep this one simple. Okay. And then this address field was connected to my bill to, so this is going to be my bill to. I'm going to say address one. Insert another text object under. And then drag my city, co oops, comma, date. Province code, space, zip code, postal code here. Okay, so if you preview that, you'll see it's put my build two at two address in there. Put that up. Then I'll put a label and say bill to. Okay, I'm gonna next, I'm gonna do my ship to, which is basically the same thing. another person table. Right click database expert and then you can add more tables if you need them. Person. <clears throat> okay. Actually that's going to be the same thing. I'm going to get rid of that. Say okay. 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 It's going to be the same. First name, space, last name. Okay, and here my ship to address. City. Um, uh, state, space, and my postal code. Here. 
here, I'm going to add my shift to static text. And I think I want to move this all down just a bit. So select all those and just move them down just a bit all together. The other thing, I think I'm going to put a box around all this so it, let's see, insert box, and then I'm just going to draw a box around my sales order, bill to and ship to information here.